Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Star Rudy Caroline Crew here, and I'm just doing a quick vid on the Rixio HD Capcard Pro editing system. Just show you some stuff about it and how it works, kind of. Since I said I was going to do this, I was going to show y'all some. First of all, just like to tell you about the Rixio Game Catcher Pro HD Pro. There's two of them there's the HD Pro and the regular Pro. And basically, the Pro, I believe, goes up to 480p, and the HD goes up to 720 and 1080. I believe that's so. Um, okay, so this is basically what it comes up when you first get up here. This is a software, like, if you've seen any of the other videos, then that is the actual videos we take with them on the Xbox. And we have a wide, we use widescreen. Cause that's what we play. That's what I play on, and what we use a uh, live screen. You can create, edit existing. You also have an extra feature if you're previously editing something, and you exit out, and it doesn't really save. You can it'll have edit existing, or the last thing you did, so you don't really lose anything. You can edit a new one. I've already uploaded. Crucian Nanigans. I'm working on another montage really well and a Madden mini -taj. So I think I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to put in, let's see. And you have a bunch of different things over here. The first thing you have to do is add a photo or video. Um, then you have, you got background audio, add text effects, overlay. Well, you can really read it yourself. Um, transitions, you transition between like cuts and clips um, video effects is what happens to your video like blur um, different like contrast and overlays you just put something over it um, you add text uh, transition theme is basically a transition for the whole thing and you can change your speed that's basically most of what you got so let's add a video and I have a bunch of videos right now but we just got a new TV, so I gotta figure out how to get the the Roxio system to actually work on the TV first, because the, the HDMI cable is not working. So let's see. I want to do. Hmm. Uh. Gotta find something. Want to use? Um. Actually, let's load. Let's see these load first before I use them. So basically, we played some games on Madden together. No. And yeah, let's do this one. So I'm instead of doing a mini charge, I'm just gonna upload one of the clips one by one up there. So the thing about this, as you're gonna see during the whole time, is it crashes a lot. See how everything just had to repeat itself, so it crashed. Now I have to wait. Well, it this is the downside to this. To this software like one of the things I was gonna tell you in the review of me reviewing this is it takes up over a hundred percent of my CPU usage and it crashes a lot so this is 10 minutes okay so yep this is just one video put in I'm not going to do many times I'm just gonna upload this as it is and do a series of us playing Madden the crew I believe it was me IVG Blondie and Weston we were playing against Seabass and a few Trail Boys. And it was a pretty interesting game. We had some fun, but every time we play some town we the, every time we play someone lags out at halftime, so we have to play over. So these may only be half time two half times. And so let's see how this works some this may be a little loud, so I may turn it down a little bit. And seven. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. It's not too loud. So yeah, that controls the volume. I have no idea what that does. Oh, that I believe that takes you to certain parts in the clip. And that's it. Add narration. That's usually how I do my commentaries. Uh, this is how I add music to my montages that we used to do regularly, but I got really tired of doing montages because there's so much editing you have to do. 
And if you, like I said, like the sniper video in Nuketown, I had so many cuts throughout. I had like at least 30 cuts that I do. And that's basically where you just split this. So you have two pieces from here to here. And I can like delete it or I don't know, like add stuff to it, make it faster. But I'm going to just, I'm going to upload this probably right after this video but this is just showing you some stuff you can do to it so software let's say we want to split this so I'm hoping it doesn't okay there you go so you see it splits it in two things basically we some things you can do is you can change the speed let's say since that's just the beginning then you want it to hurry up you just time say we want to go twice as fast and it regularly lasts a minute and seven seconds and now we cut it down to 33 seconds and so click on OK you see down here your little timeline and it cuts it basically in half you do three times cuts it in third and you have three different ways you can see you have stored line you have time I prefer timeline it's my favorite and this is how the tracks you wanna you want to look at internal tracks if you click on a track let's see it takes you into that one track and you can edit it yourself instead of edit the whole thing so you, you can click internal on that yeah you, you edit it how like you want and then you click done and you get over here and this this just looks at the timeline makes it longer shorter for more precise cuts and such so oh god uh, there you go. Uh, let's see. Style transition. You can make it dissolve. Let's see. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. So. Let's see. So it's going real fast. And then it dissolved into the new thing. Really, it's kind of hard to see because I'm in this stage of it. And. You can press Control Z and it'll undo everything, kind of like in a what do you call it? Kind of like in a Microsoft Word or something. You're typing something. Hold on, I want to see something real quick. See what happened. I deleted it. Oh crap! Uh, I think it'll be alright. So if you uh, you can you can also right click on stuff. Feel free to let me do it. And you have different stuff, cut, copy, paste, delete, edit, pan and zoom editor. I'm going to use this on one of my montages where it just zooms into one part. Make it a little bit cool. Uh, you can rotate it and all this right here. So let's really show the video effect real quick. Uh, so you have four-way warp, abstract, black and white, blur. All video, let's see, let's click on this. Um, yeah, do that. And don't forget over here you can scroll down to everything. So you may not see it, but that's how long it'll last. So it'll be like. And it'll do this to the end of this, and you can stretch it. Well, if it doesn't lag, it'll, it'll lag. A little bit, just yeah. See, and let me delete this. I'm gonna delete that real quick. And I want, I will show you. I want to show you add text, but it might freeze it because when I did my first montage in the beginning, you know, there's text, and every time I type in something, it would freeze, and that sucked. Um, overlay is just. You know, like backgrounds. It's really these are really retarded. This is like a amateur Sony Vegas, but really bad. And one of the best things up here is you can share video, and you can upload it straight to YouTube or Facebook. But for some reason, this hasn't been working for me because every time I upload it, it said upload, but it really wouldn't be on YouTube. So what I've had to do is go to output, export. You want to send changes? No. And then you just change your quality, normalize, and create a video file. So yeah, this is coming to an end. I only have like two seconds 
So here's a, just a little thing of editing for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.